Hey everyone, happy Easter. I hope everyone is having a, a blessed one and everything is good for you. Uh, today we're going to do something that's new to me, um, but it has the potential to be a game changer, meaning this might be the hair jig that, uh, that we use all year round. It's going to be really effective no matter when you use it, but I'm not sure yet. We just got to wait and see at when I get a chance to try this out. But uh, I'm not going to keep you in suspense any longer. What we have in the vise is a 5 16 ounce uh, weedless ball head. It's got a Victory 11 796 heavy wire sickle hook. And this hook is really different than the average sickle because I got them. I wanted to try it out, but I wanted to see how the heavy wire sickle hooks acted. Well, what I found was if you look at this, when the shank is perfectly straight, I know I can't really uh, illustrate it, but it's almost angled out and every hook is like that. So I imagine it's intentional um, I'm thinking that this is going to hook as well as a round bend, but just from my experience with the smaller, uh, hooks for crappy and all with the, the sickle hooks that this is going to hold fish really well. You're not going to lose too many. Now I could be wrong, but I, I never used the heavy wire ones, but, uh, these seem pretty legit and, uh, it's wicked sharp. So we'll see again. Everything on this is going to be pretty new. So anyway, the color is green pumpkin or orange, green pumpkin, orange camo. That's it. Green pumpkin, orange camo. It's textured. You can see it. It, it has dimples all around it like a, a golf ball. There's these little orange spots. It's a pretty good color. Uh, so far, it's it's been great. It matches the bottom of some of the places I fish perfectly. So, got all the blabbing out of the way. So, we're going to start with some black. Oh, by the way, that's a 3 aught hook. A 3 aught Victory 11796. That's what it is. We're going to start with some black 210 denier flat wax nylon thread and get our base started. Trim off the tag. Now we're going to use, you've seen me before, uh, if you watched my channel, uh, use a, a material called Polar Goat. Well, I got some stuff from Barlow's. It's called uh, Arctic Goat. It's basically Arctic Goat hair. It's, it's the same thing as the Polar Goat, only it doesn't have that sheen to it. Um, this is olive brown, and this is what I have out here. This is crawdad orange. This is really, um, is that what they call it or is it just plain crawdad? Yeah, it's crawdad orange. Um, this is some really nice hair. And when you see it after I finish this jig and when you see it in the tank, you'll understand. Um, I seen something in the last tank test with Polar Goat, um, it holds its shape when you stop it dead. It, it, it holds that flare. It doesn't compress, but it has the action of like a craft fur or a marabou. Uh, but it's a little stiffer. This is it's really good material. I think this is going to be fantastic for a jig like this. Anyway, we got our base on there. The first thing I'm going to do is take some of this crawdad orange, a clump of it. And I'm going to put it that it's about an inch and a half or so past the bend of our hook here. And that's where I'm going to trim it. And when you cut this, you, you find out this, this hair it's, is very durable. It, it's, it's a tough hair, but not too tough. And all I'm going to do... Is work it around. I could have added smaller clumps. 
but unlike bucktail this stuff goes pretty good it does um it's slick but it's a little easier to tie it in than a typical bucktail i'm gonna put an extra wrap or two in here to keep it buttoned down i got a little gap and i got some more cut here to save some time I'm just going to line it up with what we got tied in there. We'll just fan the material out that we're our coverage is pretty even. We don't want any gaps and we don't want any heavy spots. We want it pretty good. I'm, I'm just about there. I think I'm good. We're going to button this down nice and tight. Now, there's our orange material. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some olive brown. Olive brown color is great for this pattern because uh, it transitions this orange to the green pumpkin to work with the head color. Uh, I really like it. I made a bunch of these up. I, I, I honestly think they're going to be really good. Now, of course, we don't want the, the olive brown real heavy. We just want to use that to go over top to blend in with that crawdad orange to tone down the orange color and give it a little natural appearance. And what's really neat about this is I that real long length of this, I actually trimmed it... Um, to get what I need, but I also used the second part of it and just pulled it with my fingers to put a taper on. So there wasn't a whole lot of waste. That's the one thing with this material is very, very long, but when you cut it, you can actually taper it yourself and um, get twice as much out of it. But it doesn't, you know, no matter what way you use it, it's pretty good stuff. Um, really good. I, I bet you this is going to be good. I've already made some swim jigs with this, and, uh, with the Polar Goat. So th this is going to act the same way. There's no difference except for the color, basically. And don't worry about getting it all the way around. We're not looking to do that. We're looking to blend this material in with what we already have with the the orange so what you have is is you're gonna it's you're gonna have the orange peeking out it's gonna be the dominant color but then you're gonna have this olive brown going all through it some spots won't have any some spots will have a little bit but you'll get that color all the way through it'll be transitioning from the orange i think we can add some more just one more clump right there looks good I, I, I think this is it's going to be killer. That's just my opinion. Um, like I said, I got to try this out. This is this is an experiment on YouTube. I, I have yet to fish this jig. I don't know. Um, I don't know the hook, 
Haven't used the hook, but I think it should be really good. And the same thing with this material. Now, the material I've used before, but this is the Arctic goat. This doesn't have the sheen of the polar goat. Now, we're going to whip finish it here. Cinch it. Six cinch, cut it. We'll get our loom water based head cement. That's penetrating. We're going to get our weed guard and we're going to put a brown FG30 weed guard in here. A little bit of super glue gel. weed guards in and now we're going to use a missile baits mini D chunk in green pumpkin as our trailer That's how I real. I didn't look at the hook, to be honest with you. I realized that the, the hook was pointing out when I went to put the, the first trailer on after the first jig like this I did. Um, it went all the way through the back, and I'm like, boy, I wonder why it did that. And then I looked at the hook, and I seen that it was coming out. Uh, it was it was The point actually sticks out away from the, the shank. There it is. I mean, you could see that it, it, it's for material of flows, it sticks out from, uh, it sticks out from the, the body. It doesn't just collapse under itself, but in the water, this thing absolutely flows this material. I mean, it, it's, I think it has the potential to, uh, be an all year round deal. I'm going to show you another one that I did with a different trailer, a custom trailer. This a little thinner profile. But this is a uh, somebody that poured me these that doesn't want me to tell anybody. Um, basically it's one of those uh, Prowler Lures Pro Wheel Chunks. Venom used to make one like that too, but you see how you get all this flare. I mean, it's ridiculous. But that's it with our mini D chunk. That's the that's the profile. When this gets wet, it's gonna all sweep back. Pretty nice. I I, I like it. I'm really happy with it. Um, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh hopefully next week. Happy Easter. Thanks for watching.